Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda is an American actress, writer, political activist, former fashion model, and fitness guru. She is a two-time Academy Award winner and two-time BAFTA Award winner. In 2014, she was the recipient of the American Film Institute AFI Life Achievement Award. Fonda made her Broadway debut in the 1960 play There Was a Little Girl, for which she received the first of two Tony Award nominations, and made her screen debut later the same year in Tall Story. She rose to fame in 1960s films such as Period of Adjustment, Sunday in New York, Cat Ballou, Barefoot in the Park and Barbarella. Her first husband was Barbarella director Roger Vadim. A seven-time Academy Award nominee, she received her first nomination for They Shoot Horses. Don't They and went on to win two Best Actress Oscars in the 1970s for Clute and Coming Home. Her other nominations were for Julia, The China, Syndrome, On Golden Pond, and The Morning After. Her other major competitive awards include an Emmy Award for the 1984 TV film The Dollmaker, two BAFTA Awards for Julia and The China Syndrome, and four Golden Globe Awards. In 1982, she released her first exercise video. Jane Fonda's workout, which became the highest-selling video of the time. It would be the first of 22 workout videos released by her over the next 13 years which would collectively sell over 17 million copies. Divorced from second husband Tom Hayden, she married billionaire media mogul Ted Turner in 1991 and retired from acting. Fonda was divorced from Turner in 2001. She returned to acting, with her first film in 15 years, the 2005 comedy Monster in Law. Subsequent films have included Georgia Rule, The Butler, This Is Where I Leave You and Youth. In 2009, she returned to Broadway after a 45-year absence, in the play 33 Variations which earned her a Tony Award nomination, while her recurring role in the HBO drama series The Newsroom has earned her two Emmy Award nominations. She also released another five exercise videos between 2010 and 2012. She stars with Lily Tomlin, Sam Waterston and Martin Sheen in the Netflix original series Grace and Frankie, which premiered in 2015. Fonda was a visible political activist in the counterculture era, during the Vietnam War and later became involved in advocacy for women. She was famously and controversially photographed sitting on an anti-aircraft gun on a 1972 visit to Hanoi. She has also protested the Iraq War and violence against women, and describes herself as a feminist. In 2005, she, Robin Morgan, and Gloria Steinem co-founded the Women's Media Center, an organization that works to amplify the voices of women in the media through advocacy, media and leadership training, and the creation of original content. Fonda serves on the board of the organization. Early Life Jane Seymour Fonda was born in New York City, the daughter of actor Henry Fonda and the Canadian-born socialite Francis Ford Brokaw. According to her father, their surname came from an Italian ancestor who immigrated to the Netherlands in the 1500s. There, they intermarried and began to use Dutch given names, with Jane's first Fonda ancestor reaching New York in 1650. She also has English, Scottish, and French ancestry. She was named after the third wife of Henry VIII, Jane Seymour, to whom she is distantly related on her mother's side. She has a brother, Peter, who is also an actor, and a maternal half-sister, Frances de Vierbrocourt, whose daughter is Pilar Corras, the owner of the Pilar Corras Gallery in London. In 1950, 
When Fonda was 12, her mother committed suicide while undergoing treatment at Craig House Psychiatric Hospital in Beacon, New York. Later that year, Fonda's father married socialite Susan Blanchard, just nine years his daughter's senior. This marriage ended in divorce. At 15 Fonda taught dance at Fire Island Pines, New York. She attended Greenwich Academy in Greenwich, Connecticut. Fonda attended the Emma Willard School in Troy, New York, and Vassar College in Poughkeepsie, where she was an undistinguished student. Before starting her acting career, Fonda was a model, appearing twice on the cover of Vogue. Acting career Fonda became interested in acting in 1954, while appearing with her father in a charity performance of The Country Girl at the Omaha Community Playhouse. After dropping out of Vassar, she went to Paris for two years to study art. Upon returning to the States, in 1958, she met Lee Strasberg and the meeting changed the course of her life. Fonda saying, I went to the actor's studio and Lee Strasberg told me I had talent. Real talent. It was the first time that anyone, except my father, who had to say so, told me I was good at anything. It was a turning point in my life. I went to bed thinking about acting. I woke up thinking about acting. It was like the roof had come off my life. 1960s Her stage work in the late 1950s laid the foundation for her film career in the 1960s. She averaged almost two movies a year throughout the decade, starting in 1960 with Tall Story, in which she recreated one of her Broadway roles as a college cheerleader pursuing a basketball star, played by Anthony Perkins. Period of Adjustment and Walk on the Wild Side followed in 1962. In Walk on the Wild Side, Fonda played a prostitute and earned a Golden Globe for Most Promising Newcomer. In 1963, she appeared in Sunday in New York, Newsday called her the loveliest and most gifted of all our new young actresses. However, she also had detractors. In the same year, the Harvard Lampoon named her the year's worst actress. For the Chapman Report, Fonda's career breakthrough came with Cat Ballou, in which she played a school mom turned outlaw. This comedy western received five Oscar nominations, with Lee Marvin winning Best Actor, and was one of the year's top ten films at the box office. It was considered by many to have been the film that brought Fonda to bankable stardom. After this came the comedies Any Wednesday, opposite Jason Robards and Dean Jones, and Barefoot in the Park, co-starring Robert Redford. In 1968, she played the title role in the science fiction spoof Barbarella, which established her status as a sex symbol. In contrast, the tragedy They Shoot Horses, don't they? won her critical acclaim, and she earned her first Oscar nomination for the role. Fonda was very selective by the end of the 1960s, turning down lead roles in Rosemary's Baby and Bonnie and Clyde, which went to Mia Farrow and Faye Dunaway, respectively. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.